And good evening, hidden in plain sight. Tonight, we're continuing to follow the bombshell in the case of the Marine accused of murder in Franklin County. 10 News has confirmed Michael Brown was hiding in this dismantled RV the entire time that authorities looked for him in Roanoke. In fact, Brown's attorney, Deborah Caldwell Bono, confirmed to me that he was still hiding in the RV even when they towed it away. I spoke with Caldwell Bono today on the phone and asked her to confirm a tip that we had received that Michael Brown was in fact still in that RV the whole time. And she said, quote, I think you will find that to be true. Now, I want to show you the video that I actually shot right after our broadcast that night. This is about 20 feet from where we brought you the evening news when they towed the RV from St. Elizabeth's Episcopal Church parking lot in the Grandin area. Again, we had just finished broadcasting from the church when they towed the vehicle away. And now, as it turns out, Brown was in there the whole time. Now, not only that, but he was there. As you look at a video that we shot earlier in the day on the 14th, police from various agencies spent the entire day pulling pieces from the RV and putting them in a dumpster as they looked for evidence. And if you look, there's almost nothing left of this RV, so you can't imagine where Michael Brown might have been hiding. Well, sources tell me that he was hiding, quote, behind a cabinet somewhere near the top. And according to our sources, he stayed in the RV until it arrived at the tow trucks lot off of 13th Street in Roanoke, where he is said to have jumped out and then run away after dark. And this is video that we shot last week of the RV there at the tow truck site. And we have reached out to a number of law enforcement agencies involved in the investigation. The U.S. Marshal Service says marshals are aware of the rumor Michael Brown was hiding in the RV and escaped when it was towed to the impound lot. They cannot confirm and are investigating all aspects of the case. The FBI tells us it has no comment and Roanoke City and Virginia State Police referred us to Franklin County, citing they are the lead on the investigation. Our request for comment to them has gone unanswered. Obviously, we've been keeping a close eye on this story for over a month now and we'll continue to chase down every lead. Be the first to know by downloading the 10 News app or go to WSLS.com.